What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now today, hey, look, we've got the great man himself, Cricket Raz, once again. He's just uploaded a new episode um, within the last 24 hours. So we've got one here, which is right up my alley. This is, I was actually about to make my own video on this situation. Now, I did make a video on this situation like eight months ago when it happened, right? Um, but I was actually going to make an update video just asking, honestly, where is Tim Payne? <laughs> like, he was, like, it has been excluded and, like, just thrown away from everything Australian cricket. It is so sad, so disappointing um, that, you know, someone like Tim Payne, who has given so much to our cricket team and, and, and took on responsibility when no one else wanted to and, and changed the Australian national team forever just to get discarded like he was nothing, uh, which I thought was really disappointing. He made a mistake years and years ago. Um, if you want to call it a mistake because it was consent, I don't know. I don't really know the whole story. We're here with the man Cricket Raz to go through. Let's go. 19th January 2021. Tim Payne stood watch as the Australian Fortress Kaaba was taken over by Indians. Really, Cricket Raz, we're eight seconds into the video and you're reminding me of this again. Come on. <laughs> Come Nobody on! Knew at the time that this was probably the last time he would wear the Australian jersey. Yeah. The story of how that came to be starts from a simple theft. Mm. A theft by a receptionist which somehow cost the Australian captain his captaincy, his career, his reputation and his name. Today we will show the earthquake one single mistake can create and how the delayed tsunami that follows can be enough to wipe out everything. 17th November 2017, just five days from the upcoming Ashes Test, Australian pundits, experts and cricket fans alike woke up to a shocking news. Tim Payne was being recalled to the team. Yeah! So, I was a big fan of this move as well. It was either him, Matty Wade at the time, and I remember, look, I love Matty Wade. He was my fave. But, you know, Tim Payne, he was working his ass off forever to be back in this position. He deserved it. Somebody who he had deserved played for it. Australia back in 2011, who was not even part of his local mm. Tasmanian team. Exactly. That's who, crazy. Just a few months back was seriously considering retirement. Wanted to become a coach. coach that talked him out of it like and today he had been selected for the Ashes Tour. It was a true Cinderella story. Somebody rising from true obscurity yeah. and now having a chance to prove himself on the highest platform Australian cricket had to offer. And the person at the middle of it all, Tim Payne, had no doubt he would prove true to this challenge. A wife at home, a child in the crib, and a glorious future ahead. He looked ready to take over the world. And on the night of 22nd November, as he was lying on his hotel bed in Brisbane, he got a message. For privacy and legal matters, let's call her X. Okay. She was the receptionist at Cricket Tasmania. And in the past, when Payne's failures, insecurities, and demons were lurking large, the attention she paid to him, it made him feel good about himself. So, for the last year, he had an on and off text chain with her. Flirty banter, innuendo filled words, just harmless fun, nothing more. And on the night, right before the first test, the same conversation carried on, crossing. What the fuck? Are these the actual test text messages that they sent each other? Because this is cringe. What the heck am I reading? I hope these aren't the actual texts because these are just sad. A few more boundaries. Whew. One of which included this. She wrote, if anybody found out about this, we are so... In response, Tim Payne sent a pic. Oh boy. Oh yeah, that's right. Of his body part. He's willy. With the caption, true. So, and that was the end of that. The conversation then carried on for the next month or so, till X left her job to go somewhere else. But in that time, Tim Payne would make his dreams come true. Yay! Two runs in six innings with one not out, 150 at an average of 48 runs. Nice. 
as a wicket keeper he had 25 catches one stumping ultimately causing australia to have a 4-0 victory in ashes nice. this would be followed with another good performance in the odi series which earned him a place in the upcoming south african tour a tour in which his captain steve smith along with the vice captain warner would get caught tampering the ball what followed oh man was a quick investigation followed by immediate suspension Wainar. and he was sent back home Wainers would be the only person who had shown even a semblance of form in the series while having no tangential connection to the scandal yes team pain within 6 months of his entry into the team he had become the australian captain the captain of a sinking ship in middle of the greatest storm ever faced by australian cricket and he somehow proved true to this challenge too by the time june of 2018 came around in spite of a whitewash against england the entire australian team seemed to have slowly recovered their footing the accidental captain had seemed to won over his team and that is when he got the call the board had received a letter accusing team pain of harassment the sender x now what team pain didn't knew back then in november was that at the time X was being investigated internally for multiple cases of theft. What? They had CCTV footages of her slipping association money into her purse. Yeah. Very few membership cards had gone missing from her desk and then used without the relevant money given. And in December, when she was finally confronted with the evidence, she suddenly found all of that misplaced money. Oh, a- how no. Back room. She had just forgotten it there. Uh, but when asked why did this money had a different denomination than the money that she had received back then uh, well uh, she was suspended pending investigations which was followed by she resigning from her job yeah but the investigations they didn't stop by june of 2018 she would be informed cricket australia was filing 63 cases of theft oh. it was going to be dragged to the courts yo no the dates couldn't be confirmed but somehow coincidentally in and around the same time that the charges were filed she would send out two letters one to cricket australia and the other to the australian human rights commission complaining of harassment yep nothing was said at the time of the incident and this is the shit i'm talking about right here now i didn't want to get you know at the start of the this video i said to be honest i thought he did nothing wrong like he like his personal stuff obviously is his own business if he had a wife at the time it's it's totally wrong you do not cheat on your partner if if you're not in love don't don't marry them but in saying that this incident was not brought up years ago because she was totally okay with it she was obviously into it they were obviously into each other there was no dramas but until she was thrown under the bus until it was her name that was in trouble it's oh shit I've got to throw someone else under the bus. I can't take all this blame. It's got to be someone else. Nothing was said even when she was suspended, but the moment legal action was about yeah, to be Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Complaints of harassment. Percent. That's what I'm Oh my god, cricket raz. This is what I'm saying. We are just agreeing right now. Holy moly, this is just ridiculous. It's funny how coincidences seem to work out, doesn't it? Yeah. And so it is. An internal investigation was launched into the matter. in which all the records of the chats were sifted through interviews were done mm. even access workplace desktop and emails were combed through oh, no. which ultimately led to a conclusion it was consensual yeah. private occurred on only one occasion and was between mature adults that's what i'm saying in fact in the message they both were aware of what exactly they were doing Fact. so the board did not see any need to take actions mm. now this may have been motivated from not having another scandal within a few months of the first oh. but no matter what the motivation was the board had cleared pain of any wrongdoing but see they cleared him of wrongdoing but he was excluded from literally every single thing pain he did. had even informed his wife about his indiscretion for which she had forgiven him he seemed to have survived yeah. the scandal at work and at home the earthquake had passed without doing much damage but then came the tsunami I don't know what 18th November 2021 nearly 4 years on the dot of the day that he had been selected into the Australian team pain was getting back to playing cricket 
The last year had been very difficult for him. It started from the humiliating defeat at the GABA, followed by being sidelined due to injury, mm, and then yeah. a neck surgery. Mm. He even had to just sit and watch as his team won the T20 World Cup in UAE. Hey, but well, find hey, look, well, to be fair, he wasn't be- he wasn't going to be selected in that. To be fair, he was but- ready. He had just played a match for the Tasmanian mm, second eleven. Yeah. He had been selected to the Western Australian team. Next was an easy slide into the national side. The yep. plan was set to yep. climb back to the top. Yep. And then he got a call. X had filed a case in court. She was demanding a million dollars from Cricket Australia. And some of the chats were about to be made public. The next day, standing in front of a filled press room, a tearful team pain would resign from his captaincy. And supportive family, and it breaks my heart to know how much that I've let them down. And as the details started emerging, especially of the secret investigation done before, with press, media, and the nation at large attacking Cricket Australia for keeping everything a secret, the board, which initially looked to be in support of Tim Payne, changed sides. What was a comprehensive investigation was done before. It now became It had happened under a different administration. If it happened now, we would have handled it quite differently. Such amazing was the backtracking that Tim Payne, who had only resigned from- Nah, like just, just, just watching this like makes me so angry at how they treated Tim Payne. Like, bro, they backed him in. They backed in the leader of our country, but oh no, the lady now wants it to court. She now wants money. Money is involved. Oh no, we've got to get rid of Tim Payne. Go, go, he's done the wrong thing now. Give her the money she wants so she doesn't bring any more information. Like, oh man, like... Bro, if I'm Tim Payne, I'm low-key suing Cricket Australia. Like, bro, they completely disrespected Tim Ms. Payne. And, and, and not Cricket thrown him in the trash. was actually being considered for the upcoming tour. He was told via whispers. He was done. On 26th November 2021, Tim Payne would go on an indefinite break from cricket. A break that has been going on till this very day. His contracts with Cricket Australia have been cancelled. Hold on, the subtitles are like delayed, so I don't really know what's going on. His legacy nearly deleted. Nowadays, the only mention that he gets is from the ongoing harassment case against Cricket Australia. (sighs) More precisely, his along with three others. Because X in her complaint, named three more individuals along with Tim Payne, one of whom also happened to be Tim Payne's brother-in-law. <laughs> ex Australian Test Skipper. Yeah, okay, that's a bit weird. I'm not going to lie, that's a bit weird. If ex Australia Test Skipper Tim Payne... Bro, th- okay, that's weird. If you're... Bro, your wife's brother is hitting up the girl you... Bro, that's just a messed up situation. A court-ordered search and seizure failed to unearth any electronic complaints. Really? And her colleagues under investigation said that she spoke of all these people as more of a fun office gossip thingy rather than harassment. Yeah. But here comes my question. Why wait four years? You had all the proof you needed, right? So why wait four years? This was the same question asked by the judge presiding over this court case. (sighs) Especially when you had already dealt with a similar situation before. Yes, after being suspended in 2017, she had joined a new job, where after seven months of employment, she filed for workers' compensation, saying she had been bullied and harassed at the new workplace. She was then deemed incapacitated and given a 12 months of paid compensation. So, if prompt actions were taken then, then why wait for four years? And I, I want to be very clear here. I am not defending Tim Payne. If she was truly as distressed by what Tim Payne did, then for sure she deserves to be compensated. Yeah, absolutely. I can, like, and I know a lot of this video, it has seen me, like, you know, like defending Tim Payne, which is true. You know, I, I will defend him for a lot of this stuff. But I absolutely agree with what the man Cricket Raz is saying. If she genuinely did feel, you know, harassed, unsafe, uncomfortable, um, you know, was upset by the situation, was, it's a bit, you know, it's, it, then I, I, I'm truly sorry myself for even being here and speaking on it, if that's the case, but 
man, you can only go off of what where of what the details are, of what the documents say, of what literally everything is pointing to. This is a woman who wants money. I'm not even gonna lie to she you. She should have filed a case against Nimbin too. But the fact is, she did not. She did not. She filed a case against Cricket Australia. Yeah. But even as the court- Because who has the money? Cricket Australia has the money. Tim Payne doesn't. If it was truly, truly something against Tim Payne, she would have gone straight for Tim Payne's neck and, and hung him out for dry in court, would have defamed him and everything. But because she went straight to Cricket Australia in the courts, it kind of just puts... It kind of takes a little bit of the blow off Tim Payne, but it just means she's going to collect triple the amount of money. Court battle raged on, along with the ongoing criminal theft case against her. Tim Payne had already been judged, sentenced, and even punished by the court of public opinion. Yeah. So today, as I end this video here, I just want somebody to come and tell me. All punishments, except the most heinous crimes, have an end date, right? So can somebody tell me when exactly does Tim Payne's punishment come to an end? Yeah, that's a, it's a great this is question. This video, but I would genuinely love to know your opinion. It, it may just be that I'm very biased or I'm just watching it from one angle. So do tell me. Hey, now again, what, what the man Cricket Raz just said, you know, we are just people watching it from afar. You know, all we can do is, is look at the information. Um, and just like literally, like we can just go off the details we've got. Um, and, and right here, look, this isn't a court system. I've got absolutely, me as a person, I've got zero rights to talk about this. But it's a free country and I'm sitting here and I'm going to give my opinion anyway, like I've already given. Um, to be honest, this is a lady who has 63 counts of theft to her name, by the way. I just thought I'd let everyone know that. This was a lady who... Um, well, I, you know, I honestly don't give a shit. This is a lady who is just doing anything she can for extra coin. Um, she wants money, 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 money. And she has happily thrown her morals out the window. She has happily destroyed someone's um, career, probably personal relationships as well. Um, yeah. That's, that's the way I see it. If you guys see it differently, then that's totally okay. Um, then, then tell me in the comments what you guys really think. Am I sounding like an idiot right now? Or do you agree with me? Because that's totally okay if you don't. Um, it's just my opinion um, on it. And I mean, look, look, this is the woman who was threatened to be put in jail for, con like, bro. This is a, a woman who, like, oh my God. Bro, I could sit here for three hours and talk about this situation right now. But I've got to cap off the video because I will literally get removed off YouTube. Hey, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please, I want to discuss this with more. Um, so I hope, I hope we all enjoyed and I'll see everyone in the next one.